Do not worry. If you have hard time, because many who are busy, they have no time, they, they don't like this because, you know, discharging all the time. You may have this discharge every one hour, every half an hour at the beginning, but your body starts to regulate. Do not worry. You can just start something better than nothing. So you don't have to start with a three liters per day. You can start with a one cup per day or one glass per day. Then increase gradually, but do not step, st I mean, stand by there. Increase as your body cope. You, you create your own program according to how you can cope, how you're busy, what's the time that you are available to do it. Because, but in any way, there's a toilet everywhere. Nothing to worry about that. But so you do that, how you can cope with that. So when you yes. say discharge, you talk about urination? Urination and waste disposal, yes. Threat, uh, Exactly, yes. And then, of course, uh, toilet, I mean, the faces, the removal of faces, all this. Bowel movement, you're right, yes, yes. The, and you, it may be in an abnormal way, like kind of, um, some people think they get diarrhea or lose motion, you know? They think it's a diarrhea, there is a disease. But, yeah, it's an infection, but that's an infection, it's your body cleans, it's, you know, detox, yeah. Uh, they, if we realize about the carbon cycle, that's a very important part, but we, why we talk about carbon cycle doesn't have anything to do with the uh, water, but we, from there we will shift into hydrogen cycle. The carbon cycle, as you realize, is well known that the sunlight receive, the, I, mean, uh, I mean, the plants that receive sunlight, uh, or, uh, photosynthesis from sunlight, and add the, uh, to the water, uh, add the water to, uh, to uh, produce uh, carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are known to be food for the animals. And the animals, they exhale carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide is uh, absorbed by the plants again and splits the oxygen and carbon and add the carbon again to produce more car carbohydrates. And the oxygen is being re released to, for the environment. That's why more plants, more oxygen in the air. But actually the carbon cycle has been proclaimed to be the hydrogen cycle. So as you realize here, with the hydrogen cycle, the sunlight, again, it's the same, there's, quite co there's correlation with that, with the carbon cycle or hydrogen cycle. And that's very important with Albert Z. Georgi, we'll talk about him later. The sunlight receive, the, I mean, I mean a plant receives the sunlight, they add the, uh, to the water and split the H2O into hydrogen and oxygen and release the oxygen to the atmosphere and add the hydrogen to the carbon to produce carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, which are food for the animals, even for humans. We, we eat the vegetables and all these things. And that's this, I mean, so uh, w what is actually sunlight added to water, because sunlight is a source of energy, so it's split, cause the split of oxygen and uh, hydrogen. So if we take this concept with the hot water therapy, what happened here is that the, when you start this hot water therapy, uh, the moment your body starts to split the hydrogen and oxygen, the same thing with the, the hydrogen cycle in the plants. And split and this oxygen, because I mean, uh, water added to uh, uh, energy, split the hydrogen and oxygen. And that's very important. We will talk about the hydrogen in the human body. So the, this happened through the metabolic system. When the enzyme break down these substances into, to produce energy and build up the muscles and all these the cells that it needs. So, of, we'll talk later on in details about that. Quite, uh, so uh, uh, this is very important. Albert Z. Georgi, I don't know, many of you know about Albert Z. Georgi is actually a Hungarian uh, Nobel Prize, v, uh, that's discovered vitamin C, who actually, uh, he, he came in a land of opportunity in the United States and he received a Nobel Prize. He discovered that human body stores hydrogen, hydrogen pools, uh, and the hydrogen pools, uh, the largest of the hydrogen is stored in the liver and intestine, the kidney, heart, the lung, and the spleen. But the reason that the liver is known to protect us from all the toxic is uh, so the liver, they need protection by the hydrogen. And what makes unique is the how in the hot water is the hydrogen. It's not just the water, it's not just the energy, it's not that, just the, the, the oxygen, but the, what makes it unique is hydrogen. Because what we found in our research, there is no way to replenish the hydrogen loss. Because as we mentioned here, hydrogen is the most powerful antioxidant. 
So that's a very good news for the aging reversal and most of the diseases is because of the lose, uh, we, we, we have hydrogen depletion. The reason why there is a, is a, a related with hydrogen depletion with the aging, we found that as we, uh, uh, the younger we are, human being, the un younger you are, the, young, uh, the more hydrogen you have. So this hydrogen, from where it came? From the amniotic fluid, hot water. Because the moment a baby is born, nobody knows about hot water, nobody drink hot water. We may have heard some people drink hot water, like China and so on, we tried to find out, but we found it was something from the ancestors. But well, the moment you get into use of the hot water therapy, you start to maintain the hydrogen in your pools. That's the most important. Uh, as in his Nobel Prize, Albert Zegorgi, this is very important. A living cell, all living cells require energy not only for its functions, but also to, for the maintenance of its structure. Bring out the fact that body needs only one uh, fuel, uh, the hydrogen. Without energy, life would be extinguished in, instantaneously, and the cellular fabric will be uh, collapsed, Albert Zegorgi. That's a very important. So the hydrogen, Albert Zegorgi, when he died, he was doing his research, he has a, a research about cancer and hydrogen. But he did not come up to say about hydrogen from the hot water, but he found that Cancer, they have a relationship because of losing hydrogen. There is no hydrogen in cancer cells. And because of reproduction, our body, we are now made up of 100 trillion cells. Start with one cell when the baby starts to form. And every day we have about 50 to 70 billion cells that die. And you have also buildup of new cells between, between 50 to 70 billion. But when these cells start to reproduce in abnormal way, then that's where we proclaim it to cancer. Why? It's a missing of hydrogen.